Resilience is a company's capacity to absorb stress, recover critical functionality, and thrive in altered circumstances. As the business environment grows more dynamic and unpredictable, resilience is only becoming more important. Building a resilient business is about planning and developing routine practices to become more resilient. Here are some simple, practical steps that will get you well on your way to surviving a crisis and potentially also thriving in the aftermath. Step one, be alert to changing conditions. Business crises are not necessarily natural disasters. A slow creep of changing customer tastes can be just as critical to your business as an earthquake. Be involved in industry and local business associations and networking groups. Get to know your neighbors, customers, suppliers, competitors, and local community. The more people you know and interact with, the more information that they can funnel your way that is relevant to your business. This information may enable you to adapt your business before a crisis develops. Step two, identify core business needs. The easiest way to do this is to put some of your scenarios to your team. These can range from the simple, if you are a bakery, then discuss what do we do if you come in one morning and the oven doesn't work? To the more complicated, what do we do if there's a fire in our building and everything is damaged? Make sure you consider people, premises, processes and technology. The point is not to come up with the right or wrong answers, but to explore what your options may be, as well as revealing the key vulnerabilities of your business. When coming up with scenarios, consider the following questions. What are the things your business needs to operate? And how might they be vulnerable? How vulnerable to damage are your premises? How vulnerable are your key suppliers? What are the risks in getting things you need to operate? These sessions may result in follow-up plans or agreements, or they may simply provide you with a pre-thought-out course of action that can be easily carried out in the heat of a crisis. Make the activity fun and keep repeating it. Step three, getting back together. Being able to contact each other is a key first step to beginning recovery from a major disaster. Are your communication systems resilient and ready? Do you know how to contact your staff, your suppliers, and your key customers if your IT system is down and you cannot get into your office? Do you have alternative contact information for when landline or mobile networks are down? Does anyone else in your organization know where to find this information if you're not there? Compile a list of contact details and make multiple copies in both electronic and paper format. Then set a reminder to check that this is up to date periodically. Step four, back up your data. Be clear about what data is critical to the operation of your business. Most firms ensure that accounting data is backed up, but what about your customer's contact list, process manuals, and important contacts? Is this information stored on your mobile phone and also stored elsewhere? Is there a backup copy off-site? Generally, the quicker you can get your key systems up and running, the less interruption to your cash flow. Step five, cultivate open-mindedness and adaptability. If you have a rigid way of doing things and seeing the world, then you will have a difficulty adapting to the new circumstances presented by a crisis. If innovation or creative thinking is not your thing, perhaps someone else in the business can be this champion. If you're the go-to person for any problem or issues, start trying to develop your team's ability to come up with solutions by asking them what they suggest. In summary, test the things that are vital for your business operation. Refer to the lessons learned in identifying your core business needs and ensure any plans you create are tested or, at the very least, ask, but what if? If you have physical backup systems like power, phones and IT, then switch to them once a month and conduct a trial restore of your computer data. And continue to run new scenario exercises at least annually.